Hello everyone, welcome in another video on computer graphics lecture series and in this video we are going to discuss about where computer graphics are needed, in which fields we can use computer graphics. Let's start with painting or illustration. Paintings are not purely representational. They are ideas, feelings or data that is, uh, that is being drawn by the human. Typically, paintings or illustrations are made by the hand. Uh, with the emergence of computing devices such as uh, iPads and uh, uh, notebooks uh, with the styluses. Now the paintings and illustrations are also being made, made by, by using the computers and they are further even enhanced by using the computer graphics uh, in a further better representation. Next is imaging and digital photography. I can say that digital photography has emerged and flourished the most in last 20 years, especially with the integration of digital cameras with the smartphones. Now the digital images and photos are being made by everyone and they are sharing massively over the social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and uh, so many others. Nowadays like uh, we have in our phones uh, ultra HD cameras which can capture high quality images as well as videos. So digital images uh, become a better way to represent their uh, thoughts and ideas. In the same way, imaging field has been widely used in medical field, such as making the images and representation of internal body parts by using the graphical devices such as MRI, CT scan, and X-ray machine, PET scan machine, and so on. So even those images are being widely used uh, for further analysis uh, in terms of uh, classification, recognition, and visualization. Next is video games. Computer graphics has been used in video games since uh, their invention in 1960s. And we can see over here, uh, it has been improved uh, massively by, by the advancement of computer graphics. The first uh, image you can see over here, uh, that is in 1980s first game that was Battle Zone, and the representation of the video game was based on the uh, only 2D lines. Since that video games has been evolved a lot as you can see in this second graphical uh, image that uh, that is uh, part of the Gears of War 3 that was uh, introduced in 2011. Uh, in this uh, game, you can see even actual characters are produced, uh, which uh, which act as part the players. Uh, in the third image, you can see over here that is another part of another game produced in 2013. And in this uh, uh, game, you can see that they they try to introduce the real world things in a virtual environments like greenery. Uh, trees and uh, uh, other objects. So video game is another field where computer graphics has been widely used since the start of the computer graphics. Next is entertainment and cinema. Nowadays we cannot find a single movie where the computer graphics has not been used. Uh, nowadays uh, in every movie either it is an animated movie or the uh, real movie the graphics used to be enhanced are uh, graphics used to be manipulated uh, by using the computer graphics techniques as you can see in this both images that this this environment has been created by the computer graphics uh, for the movies uh, which looks like real but in actual they are uh, they are being uh, made by the computers next is architecture field where computer graphics has been widely used nowadays for making any new building, any industrial zone or a big mall or even home. We used to contact with the architecture designer and we asked them to make the, the design of the building first. And then uh, we used to, uh, after uh, checking everything and making sure that uh, it is as per the needs, then the actual work used to be started. Next is uh, use of uh, computer graphics for scientific and uh, mathematical visualization. Nowadays, uh, we used to get a very huge amount of data which cannot be represented in a normal way. So a better way of representing that huge amount of data is by using computer graphics. In the same way, we can use computer graphics in the field of science and mathematics to represent uh, different uh, ideas or different uh, theorems. Medical visualization. 
medical and healthcare industry is another field where we uh, we are using computer graphics in order to uh, to create the models and visualize the human internal organs as well as uh, in order to uh, to detect and recognize different diseases one example is for example uh, uh, brain tumor detection in the brain and then visualization of brain tumor inside the brain uh, along with its shape its size and and the location which uh, give a, a better way of uh, uh, understanding for the for the doctors in the same way computer graphics has been used to represent the uh, the micro cells that cannot be seen by the human normal eye and, and they used to be visualized in the computers in in a way that it can be more meaningful and more next is computer graphics for the navigation nowadays com uh, navigation systems become part of everyone's life in the form of uh, uh, Google Maps or uh, other type of maps which can be used to uh, to find the location and calculate the distance from one point to another as well as finding out the uh, the details about different areas and locations uh, we can see like in Google Maps uh, a lot of new modifications and features has been added and which is actual the best example uh, of uh, using the computer graphics nowadays they started to add even the like the traffic jams uh, uh, by showing the different uh, color lines on the road but like in terms of red blue and uh, yellow without navigation systems nowadays we cannot imagine to travel from one place to another because finding out uh, the uh, distance and the correct path is very important and for that purpose we are using different uh, navigation applications in our smartphones or in our cars we use computer graphics in different computer added diagnostic systems animators and design especially in automobile industry and uh, gaming industry with the emergence of 3d printers nowadays different industrial uh, uh, components and parts of different uh, products are being made in computers first and then they used to be uh, manufactured or printed out by using the 3d printers next is uh, use of computer graphics in simulations uh, field uh, nowadays uh, uh, simulators are being widely used in different uh, fields such as uh, uh, for uh, surgical operations uh, doctors started to use simulators and uh, computer graphics in order to do the uh, in order to perform the operations where the uh, the uh, body organs are very small and a small mistake can uh, be very harmful so they are using simulators uh, to visualize in the same way simulators are being used for the training purpose as well as uh, for the flights uh, monitoring purpose uh, Nowadays, training for the aeroplane pilots are being done by using the simulators initially before going for the real test. In the same way, simulators are being used to test the quality of the different automobiles. Last one is virtual and augmented reality. Nowadays, computer graphics has been massively used in virtual and rea uh, augmented reality. Although the concept of virtual reality is uh, available since 1960s, uh, uh, but uh, it has been emerged and flourished a lot in the last five years, especially with the invention of new augmented and virtual reality devices such as Oculus Rift by the Oculus and now on by Facebook. In the same way, HoloLens by Microsoft. That's it for this session. And if you have any questions, you can write down in the below comments and you can. Uh, uh, I will try to answer you as possible. If you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to share my videos. Thank you.